I think we need to normalize not knowing what the f we are doing in life. Find your people. I have, and they're on booktube. Okay, let's all agree not to judge me. So it's a win for Target. And I don't know what I'm doing. She is a thing of beauty. And I have been listening to this on audio. Are you joking me? That is what dreams are made out of. I wanna reread this. Like I wanna annotate the heck out of this with like little post-it notes and stuff. I am so obsessed with this. Hello my loves and welcome to the start of a brand new reading vlog. Hi everyone, my name is Lexi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting a brand new reading vlog where I read books throughout the week. So I kind of explained during the vlog, but during the week I tried to read books that match the prompts for a readathon that I'm hosting and I'll tell you a little bit more about that throughout the vlog. And I also try to be productive and organize a couple of things in my house because it's a huge goal of mine to get everything kind of all set for, I don't know, the upcoming months of summer. I do end up reading three books during this vlog and I find a couple new favorites which I'm really excited to chat with you about as well. Without further ado though, let's jump in to day number one of the reading vlog. Happy Monday. This month I'm actually doing an exclusive readathon with my patrons and I am so excited. So the readathon is our spring readathon. We do seasonal readathons four times a year and I usually do like an illustrated map. This theme is that we're all getting like a magical familiar, a magical fox familiar and I'm so excited about it. The map is so beautiful. It was illustrated by Jessica. I can link her information down below. A lot of the books that I'm picking up this month actually will be like incorporated into the prompts. The first prompt is the sea monsters fairy, I believe, because we're leaving our little like fictional fox and wood secret society to go on this like magical little journey. And for that particular prompt, I am going to be reading Alone With You in the Ether by Olive Blake. All I know about it is that it's a love story and it's supposed to be really sad. It's not a romance. It's supposed to be like a very sad, tragic love story and I'm excited. Listen, sometimes you're in the mood to cry. I am so in the mood to cry over a good love story, okay? Today is just a work from home day as basically every single day of my life is. I always spend Mondays really planning what needs to be done over the week. And then I fill out my whiteboard with everything that I need to remember. And then from there, I typically take things that I know are gonna be due soon and I transfer them over to my daily planner. I'm also trying a new thing where I do a block schedule. So certain days I'm tackling different things. And today is kind of like an admin day because today is really focused on trying to finish the sponsorship, which is due tomorrow morning. And then doing a lot of stuff for Patreon and a 
little bit of things for YouTube. So we're gonna be doing like some editing and things like that. I don't have like a ton of updates at the minute. As soon as I'm done with the workday, I will catch up with you and we can start Alone With You in the Ether by Olive E. Blake. I really don't know a lot about this. I've been excited to start this book for a really, really long time. So I'm really hoping that this workday kind of flies by because honestly, all I wanna do is read this and listen to jazz. And that's gonna be my reward for the end of the day. So uh, without further ado, let's have a productive workday. Okay. Take their quiz, which asks you questions about your diet, lifestyle, and which asks you questions about your diet. Besties. So I'm still working. I still have quite a bit to do, but I'm taking an hour long break for a really early dinner. It is 4.50. <laughs> so it's not that early. It's five, but usually I eat around six ish kind of. However, I was kind of hungry. I almost always meal prep like a casserole or something. And it's like, honestly, eight out of 10 times, it's these cheese enchiladas because they're so easy and they're so good. I'm just going to be reading a little bit of this on my dinner break alone with you in the ether so that I can start it and I am drinking this San Pellegrino it's really good it's kind of it's sort of like a mix between sparkling water and like a light soda I like it because it's not too sweet and I usually have that with like ice and frozen mango so I'm about to pour that here but whenever the weather is like nice I try to eat outside just because I feel like it's so nice to eat by the water. I am gonna go ahead and enjoy my dinner. It's a little bit windy, so sorry if you hear that. And I'm going to start my book. I will catch up with you in a little bit. Bye. Hello, so it is officially about to be, I don't know if you can see my, you cannot see my phone, nine o'clock. It's about to be nine o'clock and I officially am clocking out for the day. And I feel like today was a super, super productive day. So I'm really, really happy. I'm also not too tired. So I do think what I'm gonna do is get ready for bed and I'm gonna do a little self care, read a little bit of the Olive Blake book and maybe listen to some jazz music while I do that. If I had wine, I would drink a glass of wine. I don't think I have any wine and that's fine. But it was a very, very productive day. I'm also probably gonna call my family first and then I'm gonna read and I'm ready to read a little bit of the Olive Blake book for my readathon. Let's get some self care on and let's read some Olive Blake. Also, I will just say this, I totally forgot, <laughs> but every single day, as soon as I'm done with work, I do spend about 30 minutes cleaning my house just because like I have dishes from like all of the meals and stuff. And I I like to wake up to kind of a little bit more of like a clean house. So before I do like the reading and the self care, I'm gonna clean my house for 30 minutes and then we're gonna jump into that. Okay. Brand new street and brand new me. Side by side by friends I need. Don't you tell me that you're in town. I already know, couple days ago. Hey. Now that our names are written in stone Let's be honest, sounds like home Still I'm here alone and I'm calling your phone I wish I could wipe my own memory out I wish I could dream about somebody else I wish I could talk when the silence so loud I wish, oh Hi friends. 
friends. Today, we're gonna hang out and all day long, we're gonna be doing some productive stuff. And the main thing that we're going to be doing is trying to reorganize, or like organize, I guess, for the first time, my hall closet. <laughs> which now that I'm saying it feels a little bit boring, but we'll be doing some fun stuff because we're gonna go to Target, we're gonna go shopping, we're gonna go to Barnes and Noble. And I also think I might pick up something from Ulta because I am gonna get my nails taken off and removed. So yes, it's also kind of a little bit of like a go shopping with me day. There is so much that I need to accomplish. And I don't know exactly how much I can actually get done today, but I'll give you like my list and we're just gonna see how much we can check off. Okay, I did make a list because I'm really nerdy and we really do have to be productive today. The first thing that we have to do is all of the closet assessment. I'm gonna show you the closet in a second. I'm embarrassed of the closet, but you know what? I think we need to normalize not knowing what the f we are doing in life. I have lived on my own before, but I've always lived with roommates. This is my first time being in charge of like my own space and I don't know what I'm doing. So it's kind of like a grown up diaries too, because I feel like my utilities closet has so much important stuff. It's got like my medicine, extra toilet paper and extra paper towels, my bug spray. It has some tools. It has some light bulbs, but like nothing is organized. Organized. Like it's all just thrown in there. And so whenever I need something, I know it's in the closet, but I have no clue where it is. And it's just, it's been frustrating me a lot. So we're gonna try to organize it. I don't know what I'm doing though. I'm hoping that if I get like little baskets or little things that fit perfectly, it'll just be easier to organize, but we have to measure stuff. We have to figure out exactly like how much space we're working with. And I have to try to estimate what all is going to be going in the closet and staying in the closet and what maybe I should like move to a different space. That's the main thing. Number two, we have to go to the bookstore. Tragic, I know. I love going to the bookstore. I'm so happy about that actually. Um, but we have to go to the bookstore because I need to pick up one new book for a vlog that I'm doing. I'm doing this video basically where I try to find a new favorite romance and I really really want to pick up Emily Henry's newest romance for that video. At some point today I'm getting my nails taken off and I would like to go to Ulta and just pick up a new nail polish color just so that I can paint them myself and not feel sad that I won't have like nice pretty nails. I do have some Patreon stuff I have to do. I need to write a post that's gonna go up on Friday and I need to edit some pictures for that post. I also have Discord sprints, which I'm really excited about. They're kind of like reading sprints, but they're a lot more laid back because they're just on the Discord so we can text and it's like very, very chill. And maybe I'll be organizing while I do that. So instead of reading sprints, maybe I can listen to like an audiobook while I organize. And then I also need to work on a video that I was thinking of filming tomorrow. And then also eventually I need to make sure that like my sponsorship was approved. If there's any revisions that need to happen, I need to make those. And I need to watch through the video that's going up tomorrow and also do the thumbnail and like make an Instagram story for it and a bunch of other stuff. So we have a bunch of stuff. It's not like an overwhelming amount, but it really is going to be hopefully a productive day. And we'll see how much we can tackle on the list and I'm very, very excited. So before we do anything else, let me show you the closet and um, then we'll measure everything, take everything down and we'll get started with the shopping. Okay, let's all agree not to judge me, okay? Because I'm already judging myself. Yikes. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. We've got like a random vase. We've got like a tote bag. We've got like, ooh, this is actually really nice. You can put this in the microwave and you put it on and it smells like chamomile and it is nice, it's like a heating pad. Anyways, we've got like tools and bug spray and just, it's like a literal, I don't even know what is happening. Like I'm so confused. But you know what? We're not gonna judge ourselves. Actually, we are gonna judge ourselves very harshly, but then we're gonna forgive ourselves for that judgment because I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. And like at least I'm taking a step to organizing this closet. You know, so uh, let's measure all of this and then let's go to Target. Okay, and then also we have this. We have this. Uh, this is my other closet. Oof, um, yikes. I, I wasn't planning on going through coats and stuff, but it would be kind of nice to have this organized too. Hello, we are officially at 
Target. And I am so excited. <laughs> I love Target and I love shopping. The sun is out. We're gonna go ahead and get a Starbucks. We're gonna do the shopping day right. I have all of my measurements next to me. I took all of the measurements before I left the house. I'm very, very excited. And also like, I just, I love a good Target moment. You know what I mean? So let's go inside. Let's see what we can find. And also let's get a Starbucks, you know, let's really treat ourselves. It's, we're being productive, but also self-care. Okay, okay. I mean, just like the target represents happiness because we're finally gonna organize stuff. Okay, okay, I was not going to buy flowers and I don't know how to keep them in my car good, but I kind of wanna get flowers before I go home because oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Also, I decided to get myself like this cute little reusable cup. How cute is it? Let's chill in the bra department and take a sip. 10 out of 10, okay. Okay, hear me out. I know they're not baskets, but I, I think I need these because look at the color. And also I really, really wanna do more running, right? Running shorts, that's productive. Shopping for this is productive, okay? Okay, let's see. Yes. Okay, here's my conundrum. I feel like these would look really good in the coat closet and they could hold like mittens and things like that, scarves, hats, and they're perfect. Like they all would fit, but they would hang off by like an inch. And I don't know if aesthetically I would like that or if like it really wouldn't matter. Okay, I think I'm happy with where we're at. It's a lot of baskets, but I think that they all kind of go together and that they're really pretty. And I'm hoping that I measured it correctly, so. We're pretty much done. Okay, here's the thing. I know I'm going to Barnes & Noble, but their versions I think are all black and I wanted the white one. So we're gonna get this here. This is 30% off here. That's more than the Barnes & Noble card. So it's a win for Target. We're in the record store and I just have to ask you, do you think I need these? If you answered no, you don't really know me at all. Find your people. I have and they're on booktube. Hello besties. Oh my God, my camera's dying. Great, okay. <laughs> We are at our last stop before I get my nails done and I probably won't record getting my nails done because I won't like have my hands. Also, I don't wanna make her feel uncomfortable because it would be weird, right? For me to be like, can I film you? So I'm at Barnes and Noble. I have an hour to kill before my nails and I'm gonna try to dial it back. We're not gonna go crazy because I had a good time at Target. You know what I'm saying? We're just gonna get like one, maybe two books, I think. I think that's good. And we, listen. <laughs> I feel like this day is becoming more like a shop with me day, but we are gonna be productive because as soon as we get our butts home, we have to tear this closet apart and make things look good. You know what I mean? And I'm just gonna feel in my soul better about it. Having said that, we need to hit up my bay, which is Barnes and Noble. Oh my God. Like, have you ever seen a more beautiful sight? She is a thing of beauty. Oh. Okay. The only bummer is I'm sad that it's hard cover. I really wanted like a soft cover edition, but you know, it's fine. Hello, I'm gonna have to be super brief because my camera's about to die. But here's the update. I got my nails removed, which I'm a little sad over, but that's okay. Like I'll like it better once I paint them myself. And I also, bought a book. I just bought Happy Place. But now we are at the grocery store and it's time to buy things for the video that I'm gonna do tomorrow. So let's go buy some groceries. Hopefully we can make it before the camera dies. And then we have to go home to do some Patreon reading sprints. Hello my loves. So we are home. I have painted my nails like this purpley color. It looks really dark on camera. It's kind of dark, but it's like, it looks lighter in real life. It's eight o'clock. I just finished my reading sprints. I'm kind of tired. We're gonna continue this organization of my closet tomorrow along with like scripting something for a new video and a bunch of YouTube work and stuff tomorrow. Tonight though, we're gonna get a book, we're gonna read on the porch and we're gonna have some ice cream. Okay, so let's grab our book, which is Pineapple Street. And I have been listening to this on audio and then let's grab some ice cream. What I think I'm gonna do, is I'm going to try this one, which is the banana pudding one. Wow, that is not focusing. Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna like this, but it just sounds really cool. And it's, look at how thick it is. Like that is an experience. So let's eat this and let's go read our book on the porch. Wow, it's really dark actually. We're here to do a taste test of this. This is the banana pudding <laughs> ice cream sandwich. I, 
I think it's too big for my mouth, but it says it is a brown sugar cookie with banana ice cream swirled with vanilla pudding and vanilla wafer pieces. I mean, look at that. Are you kidding me? Are you joking me? That is what dreams are made out of. That is good. It's different. Like it's not what I was anticipating, but it is so delicious. Oh my gosh. I think that I wish that I could taste more of the ice cream and less of the cookie, but I'm gonna give this a very solid eight out of 10. It's worth buying. Super, super good. Good morning, friends. It's actually Saturday now. So I did end up buying quite a few things from Target and we are gonna do a haul in just a second, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a reading update from this week so far. I realized that before Target, I didn't really tell you my final thoughts on the Olive e. Blake book that I read, which was Alone With You in the Ether. Friends, it's a five out of five star. I cannot stress this enough. If you are looking for one of the most poetic, beautiful, and well-written novels that really depicts love in this like heart-crushing way. Alone With You in the Ether is everything and more. And honestly, not only is it a five-star read, it's probably going to be in the top three favorite books of the year. And also, I think it's joining the ranks of my all-time favorite books. <laughs> like, I just was not expecting to love it so much. There are so many quotes that I underlined and that I dog-eared. I want to reread this. Like, I want to annotate the heck out of this with like little post-it notes and stuff. I am so obsessed with this. It's about two people who meet each other and they both decide to have six conversations. The two characters, Aldo and Reagan, they both have a lot of mental health issues. Like they are both struggling with very, very different things. Aldo is really struggling with depression. Reagan is struggling a lot with being bipolar and with manic episodes. The two of them sort of end up falling in love with each other during these conversations. There is cheating in here because Reagan has a boyfriend in the beginning of this. But listen, I just like, I love their love story so much and I'm obsessed with it and I think that if you love beautiful well-written love stories you're probably gonna love this it made me really sad it made me cry it broke my heart but also I mean I love her. The next thing that I ended up reading was Pineapple Street by Jenny Jackson. And I picked this book up specifically for a prompt in my readathon called The Moon Dust Bakery. I'm so happy that I picked this up. This is actually a buddy read that I'm doing with one of my friends, Liv, from Olivia Reads a Latte. I love her. She's one of my book two besties. I will link her channel down below and I highly recommend checking her out. I was not expecting to read this book in two days. But my God, I'm on a roll because this was five stars and this is five stars. Now I will say this, this is not gonna be a five star for everyone, but this was a five star for me. This book was, okay, you know what this book was like? This book was sort of like The Housewives of Beverly Hills. If it was set in like New York slash Brooklyn, and also if all of them by the end of the TV series learn that maybe money isn't everything. That's what it's about, okay? Like that's, those are the vibes. So this was like fun, this was funny, this was really well written. The characters were incredible. They felt so real, not cliche at all. There were so many really, really great conversations in here about privilege and classism and about like, I don't know, the responsibility of the wealthy. And I just, I thought it was really great. The next book that I am picking up is a fantasy and it's called The Last Tale of the Flower Bride. And this is by Roshani Chotsky. And I'm very excited to read this one. But the summary of this one is, is really confusing. It says, a sumptuous gothic infused story about a marriage that is unraveled by dark secrets, a friendship cursed to end in tragedy, and the danger of believing in fairy tales. And that's kind of all I know. And I'm very, very excited to read it. I've heard excellent things about it. So that's it for my reading update. Now let's do a little bit of a Target haul. I'm very excited. And then we're gonna reorganize my closet, which I cannot wait, like the perfect plans for Saturday. First of all, just as a little disclaimer, um, there's a lot of stuff here, okay? Let's start with books. So I did go to Barnes & Noble and I did hit up Target and I ended up getting one book from Barnes & Noble and then two books from Target. From Barnes & Noble, I did pick up Happy Place 
Face by Emily Henry. I'm very excited about this. I don't really know a lot about it. I think it's a second chance romance and also fake dating. And listen, anything that Emily Henry writes, I will read. If you're looking for a great romance author, you wanna start romance yourself and you don't know where to start, I could not recommend Emily Henry more. The next book that I picked up is by Olivia Blake, and I think I'm actually gonna exchange this because this cover is so beautiful, and I actually went to Target hoping to find this at Target because at Barnes & Noble, the cover is black, and I really wanted this in white, but I think the cashier accidentally, like, I don't think she meant to, but she was putting all of my stuff in baskets, and I think she, accidentally kind of like messed up the cover. I don't even think you can see that. It's like fully destroyed. So I'm just gonna see if maybe I can exchange it and explain what happened. This is a fantasy. I think it takes place like in New York. I wanna say it takes place in Manhattan and it's also an enemies to lovers romance, I think. I think it's a little bit of like a Romeo and Juliet situation between two competing like magical families, which sounds incredible. And also it has beautiful artwork in the like little flap as well. Um, so I'm very, very excited to read this. Hopefully I can get a different cover. I'll explain what happened. I, I think it'll be fine. This one looks good though. Uh, so this one I also picked up at Target and it's In the Lives of Puppets by TJ Klune. This is actually my June book club pick for my Patreons for our Fox and Burrow book club and I'm so excited. I don't know anything about it, but TJ Klune is one of my very favorite authors. He wrote The House in the Cerulean Sea and I'm so excited to pick this up. I feel like his style of writing is just so whimsical and lush and yeah, I can't wait to pick this up. Then I bought four records. I have a record player. I'm obsessed with my record player. I actually got my record player for my birthday. I love listening to records and albums like all of the time. The very first record that I bought is ABBA. <laughs> I listen. Dancing Queen is a bop and forever will be a bop, okay? The next one that I have, and I'm trying to not show the reflection because it's so distracting, but I have this next one from Queen. These are all of Queen's greatest hits. I love Queen. So we've got like Bohemian Rhapsody, Another One Bites the Dust. I love Somebody to Love, Crazy Little Thing Called Love. Like it has all of my favorite songs. Okay, then I found this and I just got so excited. This is Motown's number one music or like number one hits. And I was looking on the back and everything on it, I love. So it has Please Mr. Postman, um, My Girl, Stop in the Name of Love, Sugar Pie Honey Bunch. Like it has the cutest songs on here and I love all of them. So I had to buy it. It just like, this reminds me of summer for some reason. And then the last one I bought is Lizzo's new album. I mean, like I had to. I love Lizzo. All of her music makes me so happy. So I'm really, really excited that I found this as well. Next, I bought some new clothes. Because it's the summertime, I'm gonna be a little bit more active and outdoors. I'm just very excited for being in summer when it's gonna be mostly sunny and not as rainy and I can just go outside and hang out more. And I wanted to get a couple of cute new like workouty things. So the first thing that I got was this. These are so cute because they're kind of like sports bras, but you can wear them almost as like crop top shirts, which I think is just so adorable. I actually got this with some matte Matching leggings. I don't know. I feel like this will look really cool with like a tan. Do you know what I mean? Then I found this color blue. I can't explain it, but I've been seeing this color blue on people like in a lot of social media things and I've been wanting this color blue. And so when I saw this, I got so excited. So I purchased this little crop top sportsy <laughs> workout bra thing. And I also picked two bottoms. The first bottoms are just like the the like pink pair, they are leggings. I figured I could get some running shorts because I'm trying to run a lot more this summer. And I just feel like they look so cute. Next, I highly recommend if you are looking for loungewear, you get these. These are from, it just says that they're soft stretch pants and they are from All Motion. I'm obsessed with these. I have these in black. I was hoping to get another pair in black, but they didn't have any, so I got this pair in pink, but they are like literally the world's most comfortable pants ever. They're my favorite things to just lounge in when I'm at home. And then the last thing that I got was 
kind of like another one of these crop top shirts. And I just think it's really cute and it's like a light pink color. Next, I got those sunglasses that I showed you. I'm obsessed with these. I think they look so fun. And I think that's it for everything that doesn't have anything to do with my closet. So now let me show you what I got for the closet. First of all, I got these baskets from Bright Room and I got four of these in total because I think these will be perfect for two shelves in one of my utility closets. Next, I got three of these Bright Room they're kind of like cloth bucket things, um, but I feel like they will be great for storage as well. And I feel like the baskets will go along with them very well. Then I got these, these are bath mats, but I thought they might look kind of nice in the closet space. Next, I bought this giant basket. I thought this might be kind of like good for either paper towels, toilet paper, or even like reusable bags because I have quite a few reusable bags and they're always just kind of like scattered everywhere. So I feel like this would be a good basket to store those in. Next up, I got these. I think these are also from the Magnolia Home line, I wanna say. It's kind of like a suede, I think it's faux. It's like a faux suede um, storage bucket thing. I think I wanna use this in my coat closet, like on top to help store things maybe I don't know, for the winter or something. So maybe like hats, gloves, scarves, things like that. I'm not sure, but I'm going to put them up there for extra storage. And then the last thing I got is a giant white bucket <laughs> that kind of looks like these. And I will show you obviously like when I'm redoing my closet, but I thought that would be really good at the end of my utility closet to kind of like put inside so that I could put either like paper towels or toilet paper or something else in there. So that's that's it. Those are all of the things that I bought to reorganize my closet. It is a Saturday and honestly, maybe this is boring to some people, but my only plans today are to reorganize both of my closets and I'm so excited about it. So I'm going to put on some music, maybe one of my new albums, and I am just going to get going on some organization. So with that, let's organize my closets. <laughs> here to close out the vlog. I ended up eating sushi, as you saw, and then I finished everything the next day, and I was so happy with the results that I decided to also redo my laundry room. So I will be showing you a little bit of a tour of my laundry room too. Before I do a tour of like all of the things that I ended up organizing, let's talk about the books that I read this week. Okay, so the very first book that I read and loved was Alone With You in the Ether by Olive Blake, and this was a five out of five star. If you are looking for a love story that's going to move you, <laughs> and that's so beautiful, it's, it's this one, okay? This was, I can't stress this enough, 
perfect. Next up, a very different vibe. This one's a little bit more lighthearted, but also a five out of five is gonna be Pineapple Street. I am very surprised. I thought that I would pick this up and maybe I would like it, maybe I wouldn't, but I ended up loving it. I thought it was so great. I thought that the themes in here were really, really great. It was funny, it was lighthearted, but it was really a great read and it had some really, really great messages that I loved. Could not recommend this more. I just, I thought it was fantastic. And then finally, I have The Last Flower Bride. This particular book I actually finished during my Patreon reading sprints. We did like late night reading sprints and it was so much fun. And I did end up, I think almost finishing on the sprints. And then once I was off, I finished. Um, okay, I have a lot of thoughts on The Last Tale of the Flower Bride. First of all, I think that this book is not marketed correctly. On the flap, it says that this is more of a romance between a man and his bride. And then he's kind of learning a little bit about her dark past. The book is told in two different perspectives. One is told from this girl's best friend growing up. And the other is told from her husband. And every time it was the husband's perspective, I thought it was boring. And also I didn't think it was quite as like fleshed out as her best friend's perspective. And it does not say this anywhere, but this book has a lot of sapphic undertones. And I just feel like when you read the flap, it feels like it's going to be a little bit more of like kind of a gothic romance between her and her husband. And really, I thought it was much more of an exploration of like this toxic friendship with very big sapphic undertones from when she was like younger. And I almost kind of wish that the author had just picked this as a storyline. I understand why this is a Bluebeard retelling and so I understand why we involved the husband and you kind of get that more towards the end. But I actually think that this would have been maybe a little bit stronger if we had just focused on like the perspective of her and her friend. Having said that, the writing in here was beautiful. It was lush. The prose was gorgeous. And if you love gothic stories, you'll probably really like this, especially if you like someone like Kate Morton. Also, it's less of a fantasy than I thought. I think this is much more heavy gothic. It does the magic exist, does it not exist? It's interesting. And I like how she, Roshani Chalksky, like played around with these concepts. I think she did a great job in the gothic genre. I would look up trigger warnings for this because at the end, which happens in gothic tales, right? Like we like gothic because gothic is messy, okay? And, and so I'm not upset at some of the darkness because you kind of expect that with the gothic genre but some of the things that happened in here just gave me like a stomach ache <laughs> like they made me sad i finished this book and this book is sad but i loved it and it didn't make me feel sick the secret history by donna tart is one of those books where i loved it but it actually made me feel really sick after i had finished it I don't know how to explain it. Um, sometimes some of Kate Morton's stuff does that, some of her stuff doesn't. This book made me feel so sad that I felt like sick afterwards. The images were so vivid that it felt like it really took place. But I finished it late at night. It gave me weird dreams. I woke up really sad. So I don't know, like it's just a very sad, twisted, dark story. Pick it up if that sounds good to you because it was well written, but also it just, it made me feel really sad. So I probably actually would not have picked it up if I had known how like icky I would feel afterwards, but it was a great book. Like, I don't know how to explain it. So that's it. Those are the reviews for the three books that I read. And now let me share with you all of the tours for my two closets and my laundry room. Okay, let's start with the general utilities closet. I won't sing. Oh my gosh, I cannot stress this enough. I feel so good about this. Okay, so we've got tools, bug sprays. Um, this is like my sick <laughs> shelf, I guess. So we've got heating pads. These are sick things for like stomach aches, headaches, allergies, band-aids. Um, these are for colds. So we've got like cough drops and NyQuil and tissue, stuff like that. Then down here, all of my light bulbs are gonna go in this category. I have an extra flashlight there, and then I have batteries here. And then down here, we've got some lanterns. That's where I'm gonna keep like paper towels and stuff, and then some warranties. And so this is the final overview, and I just like could not be more happy. I really could not. Then this is my coat closet, and I 
love the way this one turned out. Okay, so we've got hats in here. We've got mittens and then like a little umbrella there. And then in there we've got different scarves. That one's like spilling over. Then I went ahead and I color coordinated all of my jackets and like little hoodies and things. And then back there, I actually folded up all of my reusable bags because I use reusable bags. I have my little bath mat there and then my vacuum cleaner and my broom back there. And now let me show you the laundry room. Okay, I am honestly so happy with the way this turned out. Okay, so this is the laundry room. It's hard for me to get like an overview, but we've got like a shelf there. We've got a shelf there. Um, my cat's litter box and then a couple of these really cute Thresh, I think they're from Thresholds maybe, I don't know, um, rugs. But I like the way these rugs tie everything together. So up here we have like detergent and like a steamer lint rollers, I think like scent things, buckets. My dusters and things are all in here. And then I have extra green um, laundry baskets. And then of course like extra hangers. And then I got these to tie it all together and I'm so happy with how everything turned out. Sorry, I'm trying to not show you the house across the street, but yeah, it looks really cute. And I think you guys, that's it. That is the wrap up of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun filming throughout the week. I think that's it. A big thank you to all of my Patreon members at Fox and Wood, especially the Ink and Quill Club members who are all executive producers of every single video that I create. And if you have made it to this point of the video, please leave me any emoji that reminds you of summer. I love you guys so much and until next time book lovers keep your head in the clouds and your heart in a book and I will talk to you very soon bye always think of you when spring comes like it's something in the air at that time don't know why always dream of you when spring comes it's like the heat